What I'm really excited about right now is that the good people at Elegant Themes just added a thing called Divi Cloud. So this is really exciting. I'm a professional web designer. I've been doing this for years. And the biggest problem when you're building a new website is having to rebuild everything every single time. Now Divi Cloud, if you haven't found out yet, what it does is it saves your layouts so they can easily be used within your website and on other sites that you're building so that you don't have to constantly redo the same thing over and over again. So in this video, we're gonna go over Divi Cloud, how it works, how to pay for it, and how to use it on your site and transfer one section from one site to another site. Wow. Check it out. For this example, I'm gonna use my own website, Rapid Active Marketing. I wanna recreate this landing page over and over again because I know that it works and I know that it converts. So. As you can see here, I've already built it. It looks really good. It's laid out exactly as I want it. So I know I want to save it to use over and over again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first enable the visual builder. After this loads, there's a couple different things I can do. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually save the whole thing to the cloud. I just click on these three buttons. I click on the purple like arrow circle thing over here. And it's gonna give me an option to give the layout a name and to save it to the cloud. So I'm gonna call this, I'm gonna abbreviate the name, just put RAM for Rapid Active Marketing, and I'm gonna call it Landing Page. That way I always know exactly what it is. And I wanna save this to the cloud. The moment I do that, I'm gonna get this pop-up. This pop-up is gonna ask me to log in. I'm gonna click Log In. Now I've already started playing with this. I've added some categories, but I'm gonna call this, I'm gonna add a category to this and call it landing pages. That way I know where all my landing pages are every time I wanna use this. So I, I just type that right in and I save to the cloud. Now what that's automatically gonna do is make it so that I can easily find it and create a thumbnail no matter where I wanna use it. So I'm gonna exit out of this page and I'm gonna create a new page. And I'm just going to call this uh, test landing page, just because it's an example. And I'm going to publish it right off the bat. That way I know it's created. All right, so then I choose the Use the Divi Builder, and I'm going to be given three choices. Build from scratch, choose a pre-made layout, or clone an existing page. Now, in the old days, I would just clone the existing landing page. But I'm going to use the pre-made layout this time because I want to see how the cloud works. I just click right into it. And as you can see, we already have the pre-made layouts that Divi gives to us that Elgin Themes has created. There's some really good ones in here. Uh, I have my saved layouts. As you can see, this is stuff that I've already worked on. And I also have my existing pages. I'm gonna go into my saved layouts and every time I see this little blue cloud, I know that this is one that's in my cloud so I can reuse it. And I can also favorite it if I like. Now I can click on it to make sure it's exactly what I want. I can load it up and see that it's all the stuff, and it is, and click on Use Layouts, or I can hit this back button and these three little dots here, and then click on Use This Layout, and it's gonna load my layout into the page. And there you have it, the layout is loaded. If I click on Build on the front end, you're gonna see that the landing page is ready for me to work on. And there it is. Now, I can change the copy, I can change the information and not disturb the template at all. I can change all these words, I can do whatever I want to this and reuse this landing page. And it's still, as you can see, in my test land page. So I'm gonna exit this by hitting save. And there I go. Now, I'm gonna go into the Elgin Themes website and I'm gonna look at what they're offering here today. Now they have a sale going on for the next 15 days. So if you wanna get this, you should get it immediately. It's a chance for you to buy space in the cloud. It's kinda of like Dropbox for layouts where you could save all these and have unlimited storage. So if I wanna get it, all I gotta do is click on this Get Divi Cloud and I can choose whether to get it at 480 a month because of yearly or do it at monthly at 640 a month. Now, I know that I'm probably gonna go with the yearly, but I'm gonna do that outside of this video. In the meantime, I'm gonna show how I can now move that landing page that I've created to another site that I've worked on. So I have another uh, web development business that I have called Dentist Access, and I know I wanna use this landing page 
on this page also. So I'm gonna just go into the admin area, log in, and I'm gonna create a new landing page. So I just go to pages, add new, and now my new page is add. So this will be my new landing page, just because we're doing it just as an example. And I'm gonna use the Divi Builder, but first I'm gonna publish. And before I do anything else, I just realized I gotta make sure that I've updated to the most recent version of Divi. So I'm gonna click into the updates, and I'm gonna scroll down, and I'm gonna make sure I have the latest version of Divi, I'm gonna update my thing. All right, so I'm gonna go back to that page. I'm gonna go to the most recent date. That's how to bring it up. I'm gonna view it. This page is completely empty. So all I gotta do is click Enable Visual Builder, and there it is again, choose a pre-made layout. I click into that and I go to my saved layouts, but that layout's not here because I have to sign into the Divi Cloud. So I go over here, the top right-hand corner, I'm gonna log in again, because I'm on a different website this time, and there it is, there's my cloud, ready to go. I click on the three dots, I click use this layout, and that page is now loaded. I have successfully moved that layout from one site to another all through the cloud. Easy peasy. I know that everything that I have done, I can redo easily on other sites. If I if I made something on another site, I really like to lay it on, I want to reuse it again. I know that I can just move it over into the cloud. So if you like this video, I want you to hit like and subscribe so you can see more stuff about using Divi and automating your marketing.